Hello and welcome to another big conversation. This time me and Craig are going to talk about which competitions Spurs should concentrate on. Obviously, it's the halfway point in the season pretty much. We're in a very interesting position. So we're doing very well in the league. We've got good prospects there. Yep. Uh, we just earned ourselves a replay against Leicester in the FA Cup mm. after a sort of late equaliser from Harry Kane from the penalty spot. And of course, we are in the Europa League. Now, I'd say that's quite an interesting position. What's your, what's your first thoughts on which one? What's your priority? Has to be the league. The league's priority. The Premier League, without a doubt, is the priority. I mean, look at the, the unique situation we find ourselves in. Six points off the top. I know it's only yeah. January and it's going to yeah. filter out, but it's still a good position to be in. Uh, amazing defensive record. Crazy goal difference exactly. for Spurs. So the league has to be the priority. Well, that's what's unique about this year. Because mm. we've been in good positions before in the league in the last sort of like five, six years. We've been yeah. here at the halfway point before. But yeah. this is the first time I've ever seen us with a goal difference like this. That's, that's the kind Whereas of... Whereas before it was like, if someone just catches up on points, we're immediately beneath yeah. them. But now we've got one of the best goal differences in the league. I've got never seen Great foundation that. at the back. Yeah. We've got a very good spine. So the league has to be the priority. After that, I'm saying the Europa. Yeah, and is that because of the prize being the Champions League? It has to be. And it's a, a European trophy, to me, is more... It's better than a, than a domestic FA yeah, Cup trophy. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, so you would... If you had to sacrifice one, you'd sacrifice the FA Cup? Out of the three, definitely. But would you, if you could... Do you think we've got the squad depth to sacrifice none of them and to go for all three? Can we attack it on three fronts or is it... Is that, too, surprisingly, is that too much to ask? Surprisingly, I think we have got depth. I didn't think we did, but... Pochettino giving loads of these youngsters a chance. Because if you looked at our squad at the beginning of the season in August, you thought, you look at it and think, who are these kids? Yeah. I mean, are they going to play? Who's Onomar? You've got Winks, Pritchard, a lot of them. How is this going to work? But he's given a lot of them a chance. We hadn't seen much of Vimmer before. He looks half decent. Trippier has been, his performances have gotten better. So we look like we have a bit of depth. But do you think, having watched the Leicester game, that we have got enough quality in our squad depth uh, to actually make it worthwhile to pursue all three trophies, so to actually make it worthwhile, see if we can actually get to finals with those people in our squad. Can Harry Winks really realistically get us, help get us to a final? Yeah, that, this is the thing. I don't think we have the quality to push all the way on all, all mm. fronts. So, if, so is there any point in even bothering? There is. There always is because we've got a lot of competition for places in our team. So a lot of the players are really going to give it their all to try and get into the first team. When yeah. you've got that problem, and it's a good problem to have, all your players are going to try their best. In a team where there's big names, big money, players are going to sulk. They're not getting in the team. Instead of trying to fight for that, they're going to think, I'm better than this. Why am I here? Let me just mm. go somewhere else. I'll get a move and start somewhere else. In our team, they're all young. They're all hungry. And they really want to fight for a place because they know, like with Deli Ali, they can get rewarded with a contract. Yeah, and they know that they are, will be given the chance if they show enough in training and stuff like that. Exactly. OK, well, let me ask you this then. When you see the team sheet come out for something like the FA Cup, Yeah. Are you happy with it or is part of you going, oh, I wish we were starting Kane, I wish we were starting Lloris, you know, I wish we were starting Jan? I mean, Lloris, that goes without saying, you know how I feel about Michelle Vaughan. I know um, that, but then does that imply that the depth is irrelevant because you want to start the first team anyway? I feel like, for instance, we could have started Lloris in that game. Lloris could have started. He's a goalkeeper, for crying out loud. He's not. Kasper Schmeichel started in the FA Cup against us. He's going to start again in the league. Why didn't we start Lloris for both games? He doesn't need a rest. He's not running around. All right, he smokes fags. So what? He's not running around, okay? That's the bottom line. So he could have yeah. played. There's key players, I think, that you need to not change. There's other areas like Carl Walker and Trippier. Trippier's proven that he can actually do a job. Yeah, he can so, whip yeah, balls yeah. in and do a job. Left back, Davis, Rose, they can alternate. Chadley's been a decent player for us over the last two years. He hasn't been amazing, but he's scored goals and he's put in some, some uh, effort. Chadley's exactly the sort of player you kind of want in that situation, isn't yeah. it? When you want squad depth, you go, well, Chadley actually is quite an experienced player. It's not mm. like playing a kid. So he's exactly the sort of player that's yeah. good to have in your squad. And you can't forget, exactly we, we've got three injuries. We've got NG, Dembele and Pritchard who are out. And Dembele yeah. and NG. NG very raw, but there's a lot of talent there. And Dembele just gives us even more depth who weren't in contention for the FA Cup game. And on top of that, we don't even have another striker. So if we get another striker in, yeah. the depth is going to be infinite. Safe to say that NG would have started the FA Cup game if he was fit? Possibly up front, yeah. I mean, I don't know, because it, it seems he's willing to play on up front. Yeah, he did it against it might not Monaco. be anymore though. Yeah, I mean, I think he, we've kind of seen that he's not an out-and-out striker, but I think we've got depth there. Dembele and NG weren't even available, and we need to get another striker. And if we do get a Berahino or the other Moussa Dembele or one of these other players that we're linked with, then that's even more depth in there. But I think we can compete for all, not as much as we'd like to, yeah. like, like we are for the Premier League, but I think we can compete on all fronts. Well, let me ask you then. Uh, let's say the January transfer window ends and we haven't signed anyone. Does that change your mind? It does. And you, in what way? You want to, which one do you we, want to drop we, out? We need a striker. 
we need another striker. And if we don't get that other striker, I think we need to just forget about the FA Cup, to be honest. And that's the sacrifice but we need keep, to make. But still go for the Europa. Yeah, yeah, we've got to go for the Europa purely because I feel like looking at the teams, and then there's a lot of good teams in there, the likes of Dortmund, Fiorentina is a decent team. There's great teams in there, but I just feel like we've got a, as good a chance as anyone. On the current form, the way we're playing, we can actually, for once, go for it and win it. And the incentive there, I mean, I would actually would rather win the Europa than finish top four. Purely because you, you get Champions League and a trophy, so it's a two for one deal. Okay, that's interesting. Because well, that was that covers my next question, which yeah. was: Should we just focus on the league if all you want is Champions League? It isn't all you want. You want some silverware. Uh, Fair enough. And I want to go for the title. That's why I'm saying the league has to be a, a proper priority. Purely because I just don't think we'll get a, a better chance than this. So, slight uh, tangent. Do you think they should maybe change the format of the FA Cup then? Given that a lot of uh, Premier League sides are kind of seem like they're not really taking it that seriously this year. Uh, if you look at a lot of the Premier League starting 11s. Uh, even against other Premier League clubs for yeah. the FA Cup fixtures that have just gone. It's kind of reserves, it's kind of kids, and people aren't really bothered about the FA Cup anymore. They're yeah. focusing on the league. If they add the Champions League element as a prize for the FA Cup, yeah. do you think that would change things? Yeah, but then that just opens a whole new can of worms. I mean, all other leagues would then have to kind of have that, you know, the Copa del Rey would have to be then you can get into the Champions League, do you know what I mean? And then yeah. it makes Champions League. I don't think that's the case. I think the problem lies within the players themselves, why the FA Cup isn't taken seriously. Players come out and say they care about playing for their country, playing mm. in their domestic league and winning the Champions League. They never come out and say, oh, I really want to get this domestic FA Cup or Copa del Rey, do you know what I mean? They don't come out and say that. It's always playing internationally, playing in the Champions League and playing for their domestic title. So if the players start showing some more encouragement towards these, not us as the fans, we just follow the players. If the players show like, oh, this is a serious right. thing, I think maybe we take it more so seriously. So you think they've got to set the tone? To be fair though, every time I've played FIFA or Football Manager, I've not been that bothered about the FA Cup. I've obviously tried to win it and I have won it many a time. Uh. But I focused on the league. I'm focused on the Champions League. Of course, league. of course, and that's because that's where all the money is. That's where exactly. all the plaudits are. I mean, no one's no one's going to win the FA Cup and say, well, they won the FA Cup, so they should be in contention maybe for the Ballon d'Or. They should be in contention for the team of the city. It's not like that anymore. Okay, final question: How would you feel if we finished fifth, got knocked out of the Europa League, but won the FA Cup? It's improvement last season. Okay. That's, that's the thing. We're in a very, very fortunate position right now. I mean, right now we are doing so much better than last season that really we can't... We did get to a Carling Cup final, which was good. Yeah. But if we won the FA Cup, how could we complain? I mean, how many trophies have we won since I was alive? About three and one of them I couldn't remember because it was like the early, early, early 90s. Yeah. yeah. So we haven't won much. So if we, if we won the FA Cup, why would I complain? But I just don't... I know we shouldn't focus on Arsenal fans. I don't want Arsenal fans to be like, oh yeah, but we won that two years in a row. You're once again in our shadows. Do you know what I mean? If we went and yeah. won a Europa League, it would be like, well, we've, we've still got European more trophy. European history than you. Which we do, you goon as We have more European history than you and it will continue. Okay, that has been the big conversation. Obviously, it's gone the way we all I expected tried, it to, with Craig to. doing a rant about know, Arsenal. I tried. I tried. Uh, it was inevitable. Uh, let us know what you think. Should we? Which one should we focus on? You know, should we go for the Europa League because of the Champions League prize and because of the European history element Craig's talking about? Should we focus on the league? Should we go for the FA Cup? Should we go for all three? Have we got the depth to go for all three? Do we need a signing to make sure that happens? Let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Give us a like. Follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV, and we'll see you soon.